Hey Blue, I'm sitting out here today in the highlands of the Sonoran Desert with Anemone tuberosa. This is a beautiful spring wildflower that grows in the years when we've had abundant moisture. And we've had a lot of rain this winter and spring, even a couple of crazy snowstorms. Um, so this flower is really abundant this year and it's really special medicine to me. One of my very favorite medicines from the first day that I came across her um, right in this area in fact and most people know the medicine as a medicine for anxiety and panic and it's used a lot in first aid situations in groups and crowds or for people with anxiety and panic kind of on a regular basis and really the the medicine is used as a tincture a fresh plant tincture and you really only need two to five drops to get the benefits of anemone for that kind of panic and anxiety. And it's really specifically indicated for people who tend to be frail and pale. They kind of get blown around and buffeted by the winds of life, so to speak. And it can really offer a lot of support for those acute panic situations. Obviously, if you have an ongoing panic thing going on or anxiety, you need to address all the underlying causes, life situations that might be contributing, nutritional deficiencies, and working with more nervings that can be used on a long-term tonic basis. I'd probably work a lot with, with oats, possibly ashwagandha, vervain, skullcap. There's lots of different ones that you can work with. Um, anemone is specifically for the acute kind of panic and anxiety situation. Um, it's a beautiful medicine and there's anemones that grow all over the country in different areas and this one, anemone tuberosa, is one of the stronger ones and is usually well sought after by herbalists of all over the country. Um, I feel very blessed that it lives here with me. Um, I've just made a flower essence today with, with the anemone and I've been sitting with the plant for gosh, how many years now? At least eight, eight or nine years that I've been working with the medicine and sitting with the plant and, you know, dreaming with it and just having it as a part of my life and loving just to go visit it. And um, it's interesting, I, I re recently had a dream when I was going to go collect some of the medicine this year a few weeks ago. And the dream was all about a feeling unsafe to go collect because somebody might see me and I might get in trouble. So I, I, I held off and I, I asked the plant what, you know, what was, that was about. And I was told some things about how I needed to share the medicine that I already had on hand before I started collecting more. Um, so I went ahead and did that and I've sent some of the, the medicine away to some other herbalists that I know would like to use it. And um, but it said I could make a flower essence, so I come to make a flower essence today, and I really sat with it and listened to what she had to say about how flower essence would be used, you know, the, the tincture, the medicine, the physical medicine for anxiety, panic, that kind of thing. But the flower essence is really specifically for that fear or anxiety about being seen in the world or about letting your true inner self be seen by others. Uh, when you feel like you're standing out like a sore thumb in a crowd or, you're, or in a community because you're so different and like your inner differences can't be seen, you don't want to allow them to be seen by others because you don't want to set yourself apart even more. And the essence really helps us to bring or allow ourselves to be seen fully for who we are, our unique, authentic self. And the plant is really a shy little plant. She likes to grow underneath the manzanitas and kind of in the nooks and crannies of rocks and under the oak trees here and often under the, the cat claw acacia which has these very grabby cat claw thorns that are hard to get under and they'll grab out your skin and your clothing. But she's, she's very shy and she grows kind of tucked away and you have to really kind of look carefully for the medicine when you're when you're gathering it. And, but she's so beautiful and so showy. I'm going to show you what she looks like here in a minute. So gorgeous. And it really just speaks to me of that ability to shine with our true, authentic nature. 
that comes from within and just let ourselves be the beauty that we are in the world without being afraid of being seen without being afraid of you know who we are being ridiculed or dangerous to be in the world you know it grows in these shady nooks and crannies and protected areas so it can offer us a sense of feeling safe in ourselves and safe in our authentic nature um, and I'm really excited to bring this medicine to my community and my friends this flower essence um, so I'm going to be finishing it off today and sharing it with some others so we can get more feedback and um, you know when you make flower essences it's really important to sit with the plant and listen to what it has to say and everybody will often you know if everybody who makes a specific essence sits with that plant they will usually get some unique reflection of the core of the essence um, this happens a lot when you sit in a group and make an essence or do a proving together. It's like a diamond and you'll get all these different little facets of, of the, the medicine or the essence of, of the flower and the plant. So this has just been my experience on this particular day um, when I've made the essence and sat with the plant, you know, along with dreams that have come and information that has come to me over the years that I've worked with the medicine. Um, so, you know, there's definitely other ways of working with it and seeing it, but this is the perspective that came. My little facet of desert anemone windflower medicine. Um, so I'm really gra grateful that I could share it with you. I'm going to show you what she looks like. She is beautiful little flower, Ranunculaceae family, growing here under the grass. You can see the, the leaves under there as well. And usually you see just one here and there. They don't tend to grow in large clumps. So a little single flower right here, and I can see two or three others within a few feet of where I'm sitting. So that's desert anemone. Anemone tuberosa for panic, anxiety, and tincture form, and essence for allowing your true, authentic, beautiful, wonderful self to come and flower into the world. Thanks for sitting with me today. Bye.